Hello guys, welcome back to my channel HK Official. Today, I'm starting with wave optics in which we are going to study interference. This is unit number one in engineering physics. You are seeing part one video in which we will cover all basic concepts of interference. So let's get started and support till the end of the video. First of all, we'll learn what is interference phenomena. Interference phenomena is a fascinating occurrence in wave physics where two waves come together and combine to create a resultant wave which can have a lower, higher or equal amplitude compared to the original waves. Have you ever wondered what happens when two waves meet and interact? That's exactly what we'll be unraveling today in the context of interference phenomena. One of the most commonly observed examples of interference is optical interference, specifically in context of light waves. Think about when you toss a pebble into a pond and see ripples spread out. Now, imagine these waves as light waves and the pond as a thin film. Thin film interference is a prime illustration of this phenomenon where light waves reflected from both upper and lower boundaries of a thin film overlap and interfere with each other. Can anyone guess what happens when these waves overlap? That's right, they either reinforce each other or cancel each other out, creating stunning patterns of colors. Remember those colorful patterns on soap bubbles or oil spills? This is interference in action, shaping our everyday visual experiences. I hope you understand the concept. Let's go ahead. We'll see the types of interference. Interference can be categorized into two main types, constructive and destructive interference. Constructive interference happens when the crest of one wave aligns with the crest of another, resulting in the maximum combined amplitude of waves. Let's challenge your understanding can you predict the result when two waves combine to reinforce each other? On the other hand, destructive interference occurs when the crest of one wave coincides with the trough of another wave, leading to a reduction in the overall amplitude of the resultant wave. Who can explain why this might cause a decrease in amplitude? You should comment. This is the diagram showing the difference in constructive and destructive interference. You can point the difference between the both in in phase and out of the phase. Let's go on to the coherence concept. For interference to occur effectively, the concept of coherence becomes essential. Coherence refers to the condition where two wave sources emit waves with the same frequency and a constant phase difference. Remember, same frequency and a constant phase difference. Think about tuning two musical instruments to play in harmony. How might this relate to waves? Coherent sources allow us to create consistent interference patterns, enabling us to predict how waves will combine. Now let's see the concept of thin film. I think this is new to all of us. Thin film interference involves a layer of material, often with a thickness ranging from fractions of a nanometer to several micrometers. Can you think of some everyday examples of materials that fit in this description? Examples include extremely thin sheets of metal known as foils or thicker metal plates. The concept of thin film interference finds application in a wide range of fields. From explaining the colorful appearance of soap bubbles to the technology behind anti-reflective coatings on eyeglasses and camera lenses, who would have thought that interference could have such a practical applications? So, there you have it. A glimpse into the captivating world of interference phenomena. Remember, the next time you see colors dancing on a soap bubble or marvel at the vivid patterns on an oil spill, you are witnessing the magic of interference, a phenomena that adds depth and wonder to the world of waves and light. So, I would like to say that interference in thin film of uniform thickness, this is a very important topic of this chapter. So, I will be covering that topic in part 2 of this video. 
so stay tuned and hit the like button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching